You know, a lot of these guys were coaching, too, right, when they got out of the game. So it, it was fun to see them all and tell them thank you. You know, they were a big part of my career, learning, and, like, Mark McGuire taking me under his wing. So it's, like, it, it's incredible to see a lot of these guys. Sounds like you appreciated the history of the A's even uh, back then. Do you appreciate it maybe in a different way now? You're I, you removed know, from it? I've always loved the game. I've always loved the game. You know, even when I was a young kid, I kind of watched how those guys took care of themselves and how they honored the game. And I always, I, that's all I ever wanted to be was a ball player. I had to live it for 20 years, that dream. So I, uh, I remember what it's like. I still don't forget it. I teach, you know, my son's nine. So I coach his little travel ball team and try to teach those kids to honor the game. Because, you know, that's the thing is, it, it's special. It's a special fraternity of guys, and uh, to be a part of it is, is really special. You're okay, Jason. How are you doing, nice man? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. I'm sure you talked about this already, but what does it mean when you come back here to Oakland knowing that, you know, the A's are on, on borrowed time here in the city of Oakland? You know, the, the biggest thing is I'm just excited to be here. You know, these fans are incredible, and this is where you start. This is your... This is where it all started for me. So it's always going to be special. Uh, you know, the teams that I played for from all my idols when I first got here, Eckersley to McGuire to Terry Steinbach and Stu and to go, you know, Hudson Mulder Zito and uh, to be a part of all those incredible teams was, was really special. And that, that's what means the most to me. Able to keep up with the, with the fans, how the fans are reacting to the potential relocation, and, and you know, I I got four kids, so it's kind of tough. Right now, it's go time every day. You know, I need to drink Red Bull every day just to make it through the day. I got, I got a one-year-old. I just officially made myself the oldest guy at preschool. But uh, it, you know, it, it's part of the game. You know, everything. Just like guys leave teams and, and stuff like that. It's unfortunate. You know, it's a great fan base, and they love their team and. But that's just part of the economics of, of, of the game to try to compete anymore. You know, it's it's so tough when you have the big market teams, small market teams, and you know, revenue sharing. I, you know, I don't know a lot about the revenue sharing, how that works, but you always want to keep your guys. You know, there's plenty of opportunities. We had great teams here. That if we stay, we would have been like the Braves. You know, but that's tough when you start to look at all those contracts guys signed after. You know, they they left, but it, it's tough. You know, to draw every day. You know. Okay. But, but along the lines of Shana's question, they, you know, some games in the fifth inning, they start this chant, sell the team, sell the team. You can hear it on the broadcast. I mean, you've been here when this place has been rocking. And uh, it's that's what they're trying to capture in, in some of this and, and make a major statement. I mean, do you, do you appreciate the fans and their passion for, for you know, trying to do whatever they could, can to stop this? Well, the fans have always been great. They've always been diehard. You know, I mean, I always say, even when we weren't playing well those few years, that was in between years, you know, when, like, those guys left. And, you know, like I said, it's the economics of baseball. You know I mean? When you own a team, you want to compete, you know? And that, that's always a tough, tough thing to do is, you know, can we do it? Can we not do it? And and you don't create the same revenue, you know, as uh, New York or, you know, with the media deals and stuff like that. So, you know, you... you you try to do the best you can, and I mean, the amazing part is how well they compete year in, year out, you know, with one of the smaller payrolls, you know, and that's that's a credit to the front office, that's a credit to everybody else scouting, and they've always done an amazing job of, like, trying to, you know, win within their means, but, you know, after a while, you want to try to compete year after year, and that's always a tough part, you know, it's like, uh, you know, you know, you don't want to put more burden on the on the people as well by getting bonds and everything else to, to, to pay for it. That's always a tough part too, is going out into the community and trying to sell that. You know, that's what really what it takes that kind of money. Um, but you know, I, I I'm just here to have a special day and incredible, and, and this is where it all starts. So I'm glad I'm here. You know, and, and a part of this, and uh, it will always be special to me. Any particular memory leap to mind when you step on this field? My brother, yeah. you know, like uh, that was like two years of Little League, you know, <laughs> like having him, taking him to the, going to the park, and uh, it'll always be special to me. Yeah, 